Okay, guys, uh, we're going to be playing uh, Bolt Action. Uh, this time we're going to be playing uh, the Tank War. We're going to do a scenario out of uh, Flames of War called Barkman's Corner. So uh, the Shermans are uh, going down this road, and uh, th the scenario begins with this Sherman here gets blown up. That's why it doesn't have a turret. Uh, by uh, Barkman, who is right here in his Panther. And then they've got some infantry support. <coughs> now, special rules for this, just to make it converted to uh, bolt action, is uh, each one of these stands for uh, uh, Flames of War stands is going to con be considered one infantry stand for bolt action, one man, and each one of them is going to be armed with a Panzerfaust. <coughs> okay, um, we're also going to have for these rules, um, in order to get through Bokash, a uh, uh, person has to be uh, up against the Bokash, uh, starting their turn, and then they do a, a bog check, and then they get over the Bokash if they succeed. If not, they just stay there. Or, or have a down... Yeah, they do a, a down, check. down check command. Down uh, All right. So that's how we're doing Bokash. Also, um, also, this is impassable terrain, so they cannot get past this burnt-out Sherman because the road is too narrow in that area. So uh, here we go. Let's go ahead and start the game. Hey, guys, uh, this is uh, the end of turn one. Uh, we have uh, the one platoon that's of Shermans that's scattered to these areas here, and one pushed forward and fired at the uh, Panther but missed. And then Barkman uh, activated and uh, put some uh, penetration on that Sherman, but only got uh, an immobilization result. The uh, Other than that, uh, the second platoon of Shermans came in um, and uh, are getting ready to deploy in the following turn. Now. This if we get up... The way your your stuff works, Bill, we got to get up to that hedgerow or on the road. You know yeah. that, right? You realize that? Oh yeah, yeah. But uh, that's the trick to this game. Or if I'm up to here, I don't want to say anything too you quick. Can shoot at me. So this is the turn. The end of turn two. No, I just don't. I, just, uh, I don't know how the he's Sherman was there, knocked right? out. Because depending on if he activates he stays early, right there. He's and there. then uh, the yeah. other platoons have uh, have scooted to, to the right, right, right and left. The third platoon has moved up. And is uh, kind of waiting to see what side to move on. <laughs> yeah, so that's where we're at for turn two. Once you put your see you turn there, three. Get you ready to have more yeah. no. Okay, so yeah. this is the yeah. end of turn yeah. three. Crumble? Yeah. Yeah, they're both flat. Okay, so guys, uh, the, uh, what's the long one? This, this Sherman platoon uh, advanced up to here. Churchill, Churchill. And then uh, these guys moved up to the road. Now, the, the Sherman platoon that was here, for the most part, went up to here. Um, and then the Panther was pretty much chilling out, you know, having some beers, doing his thing, doing nothing this turn. Didn't even put himself on ambush, which is kind of troubling. I did put myself on ambush. Oh, he did! But so go ahead and put the ambush there. marker back on there, oh, right? No, I'm deciding not to keep it. Oh, okay. Because that way I can move if I need to. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's, <coughs> that's, that's, that's later one. So there you go. That is uh, turn three. Okay, so. Okay, I quit doing it for a long time. Turn for years, and four. Because like, I have you know, pain issues, and my brother's like, yeah, he says okay. this is better than big pharma dope because you yeah. don't get track okay. yeah. So turn four, uh, the Shermans are, are massing up here. Two Shermans are making the dash in the middle of this... Uh, it was wheat field, or <coughs> well, regular farm field. And uh, Barkman is uh, lining up his sights to see if he can knock out those Shermans. Uh, these guys here are just chilling out. They're having like a smoke. Barkman days. Are and then these guys yeah. are lining up to get across the hedgerow. He's going he's gonna to start getting hammered by a lot of Sherman next that. No, <laughs> yeah. they, um, this uh, Sherman got uh, hit and caught fire, but the crew... Uh, Put the fire out, the but the gun is jammed because the bark gun <laughs> shot at it. Uh, Sherman over there got uh, blown up by Panzerfaust because the infantry shot uh, Panzerfaust at it. Uh, and then uh, 
the Sherman's advanced there, uh, Sherman's advanced here. And these other ones are just taking smoke, so smoke breaks. They're just like chilling out, doing their thing. Okay, so this is the end of turn five. Okay, so here's the uh, situation. Uh, the Americans are advancing uh, aggressively uh, towards uh, this corner, Barkman's corner. Barkman got um, a pin, and uh, it looks like Lafayette Poole decided to uh, make a dash for the side armor of, uh, of Barkman, but he missed. And so the infantry tried to assault him, but didn't do anything. So that was this turn. Okay, so uh, this is the end of turn six. Uh, now there's uh, a brawl going on here. Uh, the Panther tried to shoot the, the Sherman, but uh, it's below its optics, so it wasn't able to hit him. Uh, and then uh, Lafayette Poole got distracted by the... Uh, the, the infantry running around it, um, so he got uh, no hits either, right? And then uh, everyone else here infantry fired. Did do damage to it. Um, oh yeah, the infantry uh, did uh, some damage to to uh, Lafayette Poole's uh, tank and immobilized it. These other tanks, they sprayed the infantry and did some damage to the infantry. These tanks out here uh, did some shots, but didn't weren't successful. In, uh, in hitting. So that's the end of turn six. <coughs> so this is uh, turn seven. Uh, this is the end of the game. Uh, so uh, Barkman bought it by that uh, Sher Sherman that went point blank right next to the pool and, and, and uh, shot him right in the flank. So there it is. The infantry got blown away by machine gun fire. Uh, and uh, so it's a complete American victory. No Germans are left alive. The, uh, the gamers. We got uh, Jeff, Robert. Robert, and we got uh, Andrew. Uh, what were your thoughts of the game? Uh, fun game. Uh, the mechanics for the game seem pretty intuitive and easy to pick up on. Uh, as far as how the game went itself, I think that... If uh, Bartman here picked off maybe like one more tank from this platoon and actually forced a morale check, he could have stood a chance. But uh, it seems like a hard press one with you know what? What are we looking here? Fifteen tanks coming at him. But uh, all things said, it was it was a fun match. Okay, Robert. Uh, it was a good game. Uh, just Roland had played a big part in the game. Uh, I got to destroy three tanks and cripple another one. Uh, other than that, it was a good game. Okay. Just not good dice rolling. And Jeff? I would say the biggest issue I have is the amount of turns that the scenario needs to be played. Uh, we set it at 12. It kind of works for another game called Flames of War, if you're familiar with that. For this game, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what where the balance would be if it would be six turns. We did it in seven turns, so... I don't know. That's that's would be my issue. Is it was a good game, other than that. Just but you got to figure out how many turns it needs to be played. Okay, so uh, we had uh, the Americans going up against uh, uh, Barkman. Three American Sherman uh, platoons, uh, Andrew, Jeff, and myself, uh, going up against them. Uh, so the odds numerically were totally against the Germans. Uh, Robert did a fantastic job. He knocked out. One, two, three, four, five tanks already. So he knocked out about a quarter of our, uh, over a quarter, almost a half, a quarter, almost a third of our force. So he did a good job. He almost beat the morale of one or two of our platoons. So that could have actually uh, turned the game uh, for us. Uh, so it was actually a closer game than it looks. Um, I believe that uh, two, uh, 12 turns, just like said, Jeff said, is probably too long for bolt action. Um, maybe next time we try this uh, scenario, we'll play with uh, you know, going with six turns and then rolling a, a, D, uh, a D3 at the end of the six turns to see how many more turns after that is.